Okay, question seven, it says, which of the following fractions is closest to two-fifths? Seven twentieths, one quarter, or seven fifteenths, show all your work ends. Now, um, we want to see what's closest to this. We, we're comparing fractions, aren't we? All right, we're comparing them. Now, when we compare fractions, okay, in terms of looking at their sizes, we need to get the bottom numbers the same, right? Now, clearly, they're not the same, aren't they? So, we need to get them so they've got the same value in order to put them in order, right? And we can see what's closest then to two-fifths. Now, to get them the same, you need to work out what number each of these will go into. And you've got four of the fractions. So if you look at the four numbers, 5, 24, and 15, you need to think of a number that all of them go into. Okay? It might take you a little while, but the number I came up with was 60. Okay? Because you can change all of them to so the 60. If you take the first one, for instance, okay, times it by 3. That will give you 60. If you times the bottom by 3. Okay? So you get 21. A quarter to 60, well, if you work that out, it goes into it 15 times. So the top is 15. And then the bottom times that by 4, isn't it? Okay. That will give you um, um, 60. So times the top by 4 is 28. So now we've got fractions here, which we can compare. Okay. All I've got to do now is see what 2 fifths is. So again, change that one. So it's out of 60. Okay. So we times that by, um, which is going to 12 times. So you do the same to the top, and you get 24. So 2 fifths is 24, just 60. Now, which one is closest? Which one is closest? Now, that one is way off, isn't it? Quarter. I think that one's closest, isn't it? 21 over 60 is, is closer to, to that. You know, it's not far off. It's not far away, but that's, that's like four away, isn't it? Where is it? That one's three away. So, yeah, this one is the closest, so we can say 7 20th. And we've answered our question.